Itunuolua Omotayo, a human resource educational consultant, as well as a transformational coach, equipping the next generation with cutting edge wisdom, is our guest on Motivation this Monday morning. And our topic this morning is the art of becoming. Yeah? Somebody would say becoming who? <laughs> Let's start with that. Becoming you. Becoming, becoming you. Yes. Becoming who are you if version. you have not become you yet? Yeah, so the journey to becoming you, it's a process, it's a journey. So mm. you don't you don't um, become you in one day. You're evolving, and I mean, that already takes us into the topic. Mm. Thank you for having me, by the way. You're welcome. That. Yeah. So the art of becoming itself, becoming what? So let's look at the two practical words in that phrase. There's the art and there's the becoming. What's an art? It's a process. It's a way of achieving and then becoming. Becoming is an unfolding, an unleashing. Um, Aristotle puts it as a change from a lower level of pot potentiality to a higher level of actuality. So there's a potential somewhere there, right? So for every person, who you are at the moment is not, is not finite, right? You're not in your finite We're not in our finite state, right? We're all evolving. So the art of becoming simply speaks to the process of unfolding, of unleashing, of, of becoming a, a, a greater you, mm -hmm. a greater version of you, basically, mm -hmm. right? And I like to put those words together to say that the art of becoming is a process of evolving from a state of potentiality, from a potential state to a stage of reality, mm -hmm. right? Potentiality so, to reality. Yes. That's what you do. Mm -hmm. But how, before you become, you have to know first, how mm. do you know what to be or how do you know how far you can go? Because a lot of people would say, look, uh, finding out, getting to know, that's mm. where I have a problem first. Before mm. I know, then before I start talking about how I will get there, mm. how does a normal person, how do they know where they should be? I right. mean, in such a world that is, you know, there's quite a lot happening. And like, how do I know where I'm supposed to be? How do I know that this point is where I have fulfilled my potential? Okay, thank you for the question. And that will even take me, not I add, mm. of, you know, our, um, the sequence to this. So in the art of becoming, there are components, there are things that make up the art of becoming. And I've put them into the P acronyms, okay. right? So there are about eight Ps. That, eight Ps, okay. Yes, but right. I'm just, for the sake of time, I'm just going to speak to the first five. Okay. Right, the first five Ps of becoming mm. the process. Remember that the word here, and I should quickly talk about that, the word, a key word here for me in the art of becoming is process. Mm. It's a process. It's and a process. that's because okay. we're in a blow generation. Everyone wants to blow, right? Many, sorry, not everyone, many young people want to blow, right? Mm. They want to, they feel like there's, that's, there's such thing as overnight success, right? And if I'm to infer to a quote by Reverend Funke Adejumo, she says that the secret to the success of champions is in their stories. So there's really no overnight success, overnight success right? There's even the word blue as a, is, a, is a process. There's a process, there's energy that goes into it. When you take a look at blowing a balloon, for instance, there's air, there's effort that goes into it, right? So when you look at the different components that makes up the art of, be, the art of becoming, like I said, there are five pieces I'm going to touch on. And what you've said about how do I even know? How do I know who I am at the moment? How do I know that I've achieved that potential? That speaks to the first P, and that's purpose. Mm. So, and I know that purpose is one of those buzzwords that we throw around a lot. Uh, exactly. Yes, and many people are trying to wrap their heads around it to say, we started with purpose again and all of that. But purpose is, is a very, you know, I'm just going to simplify it. It's a simplified state that means your purpose is a culmination of your experiences, your past experiences. Add that to who you are at the moment, your capabilities, your skills and all that, and use that to serve the world. So we see purpose as a futuristic thing. Your purpose is what you do every day, is in your everyday living. So beyond that aspiration, like, who, who am I? Who, who am I going to become? Who, am I, who are you at the moment? And what are you doing? Are you serving the world with that. So that's the first P. Discover your purpose. And in discovering your purpose, like you said, you have to discover yourself first. Mm. So who are you? Who are you at the moment? What makes you you? What makes you tick? What are your potentials? What, what are you good at? Right? What have your experiences been? How have you journeyed up until this point? So find yourself and then find your purpose. Use your purpose to serve the world where you are at the moment mm. on your journey to becoming. Mm. Right? So it's, it's, I love that. It's about the journey, not just the destination. No, it's not a so destination. So along the way, mm. you can, of course, serve the world, let people see what you can do, not waiting until you get to that particular no, point. Right. What of the other piece? Yes. Let's go to the other piece. So the second P is um, picture. 
picture, right? So um, you should have, as a young person, you want to have an aspiration in mind. You have, you know, that picture of where you want to go, who you want to become. And I'm sure if I ask you, some five, ten, five years ago, five, ten years ago, there about, you had a picture in mind. I'm sure that you could even pinpoint people in the society, people that looked like mm. the person that you want to be. That be. Had, you, do you understand that? Maybe different bits and pieces. Oh, I want to run this kind of business that this person does. I want to appear as this person. Do you understand? Exactly. So have that picture in mind. And having a picture in mind also helps you not to wing every day. It helps you to live every day intentionally on your journey to be coming. To be coming. Yes. Hmm, wonderful. So, okay. So let's see. We, we have a very short time. If we cannot mm. get done, we'll move it over. But let's see how many P's we can run through okay. in the next one. So the third P is practice. Okay. Remember the, the yeah. quotes that I, I used earlier on where Funke says, the secret to the success of champions is in their stories. If you ask any truly successful person, there is a practice, there is a routine that they have. So how do you spend every day? How do you start your mornings? What do you do? For someone who wants to excel at an exam, you want to have a culture of learning. There has to be something that you're known for. There was a program recently that I was at and, you know, Mrs. Tara Feladorote was saying about a person that by 5.30 every morning, you can tell she'll be on the streets jogging. Mm. having an exercise, there is a routine and people will know you for you to say this person has a culture of learning to scale an exam, do you understand? You want to get into a body shape, what is your meal plan, are you sticking to it? Do you have that practice, do you have a routine? And then the next one is process I know we've spoken yeah. a bit about process at the beginning so I'm just going to you know, put that concisely to mean that there's a journey your becoming is a journey. It's not a one-off thing. It's not something that you just wake up tomorrow morning and change that. And I want to use the example of um, a bean cake. We call it akara okay. in Yoruba, right? And if you look at the process of making a bean cake, it's bean cake is a meal made okay. out of beans, right? Okay. From the initial stage, you want to peel it or maybe not, depending mm. on your recipe, mm. the grinding and the mixing and the deep or shallow frying, whatever works for you. Now, you cannot be, the, bean, the beans itself is at the raw state and the akara or the bean cake eventually is the finished, the product. finished product. You cannot be at your raw state and you're intimidated or competing with somebody at the finished product. You we, want to go through. Uh, I love this. Do you we understand? To, yeah, I, I get it. We'll mm. pick up from here. Okay. It will be easy to pick up next because I also love akara. Oh, Bean right. cake. So, we'll stop that. Thank you so much, Itudo. And Thank we'll you. kick off with this next, Thank next week. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Akara, let it just be that Chef Dida and Titi are doing Akara this morning. And then we know that it is going to be a perfect week. Chef Dida, tell me, is Akara doing this morning? <laughs>